Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to another video. A lot of you guys had questions about this whole rear end situation on the Sequoia. So this entire video is dedicated to that. So let's start with the biggest question I got. Can you remove these rear seats? Well, yes, but not easily. These seats are not meant to come out of the Sequoia. Toyota's reason for this is because the battery pack sits right under these seats. So these seats are essentially protecting the battery pack for the hybrid powertrain. But not only that, but they did some research and surveys and stuff and stated that one, removing rear seats is a pain in the butt. They're heavy and when people put them in their garage, they either never put them back in the Sequoia or it's a pain in the butt going back and forth. So they just left them in this. Their solution for that guys is this whole shelf system that I'll talk about. So these rear seats are able to go back and forth six inches on other models, they are automatic, but we have this shelf system right here. So it's a very trick shelf system. This is laying completely flat right now. So these are your seats all the way flat. So if you have a dog that wants to hop up in this or something, and you want him to have this whole area, then that is their room that they're gonna have. Pretty decent amount of room for your pets, so that's with that. Now, if you have this shelf situation right here, you have these tiers over here that you can go up here or up here even higher if you need the shelf on a different platform. The weight capacity of this shelf, that was some other questions that I had from you guys too. 225 pounds is what they said. So 225 pounds is the amount of weight that you can have on this shelf system. Underneath the shelf system, this is something new that they've been working on and it'll be on production models are these little divider tabs right here. So you just pick them up like this, move them around. Let's say you have a tow hitch, a ball, something like that, and you need some room for it. You just want it to sit right here instead of sliding around in this area. You could do that. So it's a very cool thing that they did for this. If you don't want them, you could just take them out. If you want to put this whole shelf system, just set it right here, then you can, which that is cool. Now I will set up the shelf system for you guys to show how it will lay flat with this. Okay, so once you have the shelf in the vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your rear seats are all the way back. So with the rear seats all the way back, you'll take the flap and fold it back over. Now you have a flat surface from the rear of the Sequoia all the way to the end of the rear seat. So this is the difference of that. If you had your seat all the way forward, you could see the flap right here. It won't fully connect with the seat. So we'll go ahead and bring it back, put this over and we got about probably a foot right here of difference. So your load shelf for completely flat is another foot above the Sequoia's rear bumper. It's pretty flat back here, 225 pounds. So, I mean, if you're using this to camp, overland in, whatever, you could put 225 pounds right here uh, and sleep back here if you want. Those seats will also fold flat too. So if you want all of that folded, you can have it like this, it'll fold flat. So if you want like some sort of sleeping platform back here, I'm sure you could do that. But this is what it looks like from the back pretty flat and then you just have the big space right there in between the footwell of this and the center seats. And then when you're done with the shelf, you can either set it here or take the dividers out. But I mean, there's a decent amount of room. We'll put these suitcases in and I'll show you guys the amount of space that they have. And there you have all the suitcases in the back of it. So with the platform up again, it can hold 225 pounds. And then if we go around to look and see what exactly this looks like. So with the seats completely down, they sit fine, but if you don't want the seats down, you can put them back up. And we'll see if we have room, which we should. Yep. And then we got some room. And then you could just close the tailgate and be done with it. Guys, I hope that answered a lot of your questions that you had about the rear end of the Sequoia. Again, to recap some of that real quick, the seats are not removable they don't recommend it because the batteries sit right underneath they are completely protected completely covered but that's their reason why they didn't make those seats easily removable the shelf holds 225 pounds so if you need to use it for heavy stuff hey you can holds 225 pounds in every single position and yeah slide six inches in the rear like very very cool setup for what they were working with back here so guys that's it catch you in the next video all right see you later